2013 Ram 1500 5.7 any of the Hemi's are going to be the same for the most part we're doing spark plugs and ignition coils so there's eight spark plugs per side there's 16 of them total on these uh, Hemi's your ignition coils have double legs on the driver's side here, well, let me start from the beginning first. Take your intake tube off. It's an 8 millimeter. Disconnect it from over there. Take the whole entire air box out of the way. You want to disconnect the air temp sensor and disconnect the uh, crankcase pressure hose. After you've gotten those two pieces off, you, I mean, you can start on either side. But if it were me, I would start on this side. That way you can do the hardest one first. So the way that I do them, I've done these the same with every single Hemi that I've ever worked on. You see the fuel line sticking up back here at the back, disconnect it. It has a connector right here that locks into place. This piece right here is actually pushed up flush with the outside of this casing. Push these two pieces down, pull the hose off. That'll give you full access to that back one back there. You see where the socket is. They do have a socket that's almost specific for Chrysler. Or the Hemi's rather, sorry. That's a 5 8 socket with a magnet inside, swivel, and a little 4 inch extension. It's nearly perfect to fit inside of this hole. It's just really tight back there. It's, if this gives you any idea, this is the edge of the vehicle. You can only see the first two cylinders right here. Unless you go in the front of it, and then you can see the back two. That's pretty much it on this side of it. They're 10 millimeter that holds the ignition coils down. The new one should come with new bolts. On this side, ah, that's a little warm. Pull the wire connector off here, the Christmas tree. Get it out of the way a little bit. This hose back here should have uh, hose clamp that connects to another bolt back here You get those two out of the way you'll be able to gain access to that back bolt back there by moving the wiring harness out of the way and then moving that hose out of the way you'll need a one inch extension and a short 10 millimeter socket or you can use a wrench that's fine too this side is easy straightforward not really painful at all but this other side is a big pain. I've already gotten them all out. I'm tightening the last spark plug up back there now. And then I'll be putting the ignition coils in. I got the first one in on this side. Got all the spark plugs actually in the hole. This one right here, as I mentioned, is fully completed. So the spark plugs are tight. The ignition coil is in there and tight. All of the rest of the spark plugs are just finger tight. That, I mean, in my opinion, was the easiest route to go. Just put them in there, thread them in all the way down as far as I can get them by finger. And then use the 3 8 swivel head icon ratchet. It's a pretty good ratchet, actually. I've gotten the first one warrantied because it demolished the swivel inside of here. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's not horrible, but it's definitely not the easiest job in the world. I would rather do them on the LS before doing it on this.